Hey there everyone, we have a really exciting install for you today. I've done this a few years ago and I'm gonna do it again because I'm upgrading. So the first thing I wanna say is, I'm sure all of you homeowners have extension cords that drive you crazy. Look at this up in the ceiling. I'm hanging these things here. They gotta wind them up. You know, every time I'm using extension cords, what laying all over the place, what a pain in the butt. So I'm installing this uh, electric cord reel in the ceiling. So I, this was uh, just sent to me. Uh, Jewin Wills company sent me this 75 foot uh, cord reel, right? This is a 14 gauge wire and uh, it's got a, uh, a breaker on it too in case you overload it. You can plug in three uh, items into this thing. It's a, an extension cord that's got uh, three, three uh, outlets on it. Again, 75 feet. We can go all the way down the driveway with this thing. And we've got some uh, a mounting bracket. And uh, we're going to mount this. I'm going to show you how to install it. Okay, so this mounting bracket will just slide on here. Okay. The thing will hang off the mounting bracket like that. So the, what we have to do is get this in the ceiling. The only thing is, is that when you look at the studs that are in the ceiling, you got to mount this to something sturdy like that, right? Okay, so I'm going to, instead of being able to just uh, mount this up, up, up into the drywall, which wouldn't be sturdy, I'm going to mount it onto this block. This block is going to get bolted into the, uh, into the stud, and then this thing will get mounted uh, to the 2x6, uh, to the block. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to take you through it. I got to do some pre drilling and then we're going to get this thing up in the ceiling and plug it in. All right, we're going to draw a line down the center. That way we know where we're mounting this stuff. And will help us to mount it in the ceiling so we got everything all lined up. So we're going to uh, make sure we're going to have this in the right spot. Okay, so I want to pre drill hole here and one right about here so that way we can mount the the 2x6 into the ceiling into the studs and then we're going to pre-drill holes for this right after that All right now we're going to get this on here and we're going to make sure we're lined up in the center and we're going to pre-drill holes here for these guys. I'm just going to mark where I want them. And then I can uh, drill right after. Okay, we got these things pre-drilled. So let's, um, what I wanna do is get these things mostly screwed in, not coming out the back, but get them mostly in because it's easier to do it down here on the workbench than up on the ceiling with the thing hanging upside down. Now we're going to get this mounted up in the ceiling where the old one was and uh, we're going to screw it right into the uh, stud 
and we should be good to go. All right, so now the important thing is to get this thing lined up where the studs are. And I'm lucky that I can see it in this ceiling. Otherwise, you have to find it. It's in there solid. Now let's get these things mounted the rest of the way. That's in solid. So what we have to do now is slide this thing in the bracket. Easier said than done. So it goes this way. All right. And there's a little bolt that gets mounted here that just keeps, prevents the thing from sliding out. Okay. A little tricky to get it in. Let me do it like this. There you go. Slide it over. Okay, now it's locked. Okay, now all we gotta do is plug it in. And I'm gonna hold it up there with the zip tie. Okay. Let's test it out. This is great. I'm still going. Seventy-five feet. That's the end. Almost the end of the driveway. It's a long driveway. Here we go. All right. Went right back up into the ceiling. Okay. This is going to make your life so much easier. I promise you. Like I said. I've been using one for the last couple of years. I got this other one now 75 feet, so it's longer. And uh, no more, no more of this crap. So if you want to buy this thing, I'm going to leave a link down in the description and also the first pinned comment where you can find it. They also make it in shorter lengths, but I wanted the longest cord possible. You know, when you put a longer cord, that just means that that unit is a little heavier. You've got more wire up there, again, which means you have to make sure that you are fastening it uh, effectively into the stud up in the ceiling. You could also mount it on the sidewall. It doesn't have to be in the ceiling. You can put it on the sidewall, kind of similar to that uh, air hose reel there. You can do it that way as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please hit that like button if it, it helped you. Also, clicking the like button We'll uh, save it in your liked video so you can find this video again in a few months from now if you want to come back and refer to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.